This training video describes how to make best use of the keyword search and brilliance. In modern clinical practice, all our clinical decisions are expected to be data-driven. Further, we may need data to complete the clinical reminders, or, answer the patient's questions. Therefore, finding the relevant data quickly, and efficiently, is crucial. Unfortunately, most of the data in the medical record is in form of the, unstructured text. But, CPRS provides very limited means to search it. This requires the user to read many documents, to find that needle in the haystack. Therefore, in CPRS, the user keeps wandering from tab to tab, from one document to the next, looking for the answer. Of course, we do not have unlimited time to open, and read, each document in CPRS. Unlike CPRS, Brillions provides many ways to search the medical record including searching the via remote data. In most cases, the keyword search feature described in this tutorial, can find the needed data, within a few seconds. So, why spend many minutes, if you can do it in a few seconds? To open the keyword search form, please click on the keyword search button on the top panel. This opens the keyword search form. The user interface is quite simple. On the top panel, there is a text box to enter the words you want to search for, and a few clearly labeled buttons around the text box. The user can search for multiple words at a time. For example, the medical record may contain the words LVEF or ejection fraction for the same data. Therefore, it is helpful to search for both words. When using multiple words or phrases, separate them with a semicolon. The white space around the semicolon is ignored. Let us see how the keyword search works. In Brillions, the user can search for one word, or multiple words at a time. The results of the search are displayed much like the Google search. Let us search for LVEF and ejection fraction. Notice the use of semicolon between the searched items. Also notice that we type the words ejection and fraction without the semicolon. This is because those words need to be searched as one phrase and not as two separate words. Using the semicolon between them will produce different results. For each document in which a matching word is found, Brillions displays the title of the document, a link to that document, and a few lines of the text following each matching word. The matching words are highlighted. If the content appears useful, the user can click on the link to open the document, and review the full text for that document. The search results are shown in the chronological order, with the latest document on the top of the display. Typically, the relevant data is found near the top of the search results. However, in some cases, you may need to scroll down to find the relevant document. Let us try a few searches. Let us search for colonoscopy, endoscopy, and barium. Notice that we can use partial words to our advantage. To learn more about the benefits of using partial words, please see the section on tips later in this video. As you can see, really on shows the titles of the matching documents, and a few lines of text following each matching word. It highlights the matching words. If the matching text appears relevant, the user can click the link to open, and review the document. Likewise, we can search for any word, or a combination of words. Sometimes, the search results return too many matches. 
Therefore, scrolling the search results up and down to find a particular match is not efficient. To help with navigation within the search results, Brillions provides a navigation panel. The navigation panel is common to all forms in Brillions which support search. The navigation panel can be enlarged using the buttons on the bottom. The navigation panel displays each line in the search text which contains a matching word. A click on a line takes the user to the source document in the search results. The navigation panel can be turned on or off using the button above the navigation panel. Depending on the navigation panel's visibility, it changes between show matches and hide matches. Here are some helpful tips for efficient keyword searches for use with this feature and with other features in Brillions, which support the similar search capabilities. Tip number one, use the partial words. For example, to look for malignancy, use the partial word M-A-L-I-G-N so that matches both malignant and malignancy. Similarly, to look for colonoscopy, use the partial word so that it matches both colonoscopy and colonoscopic. Tip number two, do not search for common words like chest, or lungs, or x-ray. There will be too many matches for the search to be useful. Tip number three, limit the search words to four or five. This way, you do not end up with too many matching documents. If needed, search again with different search words, much like we do with Google. Tip number four, search is not limited to the medical terms only. You can search for words like plan or assessment or even a person's name to find notes by that person. Tip number five, Brillions performs a literal keyword search. Sometimes, a searched word is part of another word resulting in a false positive match. For example, the search for ENT will match the word present. Please see the next tip to learn how we can search for ENT and not match present. Please ignore the false positive matches. They are typically parts of the other words. With experience, you will learn how to avoid them. Tip number six, normally, the white space around a search words is ignored. However, to insert a space character at the beginning or at the end of the search phrase, use the underscore character. The underscore character is typed using the shift key plus hyphen key on the keyboard. The hyphen key is located just above the letter P on the U.S. keyboards. Tip number seven, to reduce the need for keyboarding, create search words list for your commonly used searches. How to create and use personal search word list is described in the next section. Depending on the nature of our work, we tend to search for the same words over and over. For example, a women's clinic provider is likely to frequently search for mammogram, pap smear, HPV, hysterectomy, etc. In the cardiology clinic, the clinician may frequently search for echocardiogram, stress test, ischemia, ejection fraction, etc. In Brillions, to reduce the need for keyboarding, each user can create his or her own word profiles for the frequently used searches. Having done that, the user can simply drop the search words using the drop-down box, rather than retype many words every time. Let us see a few examples of how this feature works. As we can see, this feature essentially eliminates the need for keyboarding for the commonly used searches. So, how do we create and maintain the search words list? To create and edit your personal search word profiles, please click on the edit button on the top panel. This opens a form. Please follow instructions in top half of the form. We can create new entries or edit the existing entries to refine the search or to correct the typographic errors. When done, Click Save and Close buttons on the bottom panel. The updated list is available on all the workstations you use. On a different workstation, we may need to click the Reload button next to the drop-down box on the keyword search form.